Recently, there's been a lot of people saying New York is a ghost town or New York is dead and frankly, I'm getting sick of it. As a New Yorker, I can tell you, look around me. Does this look like a ghost town to you? It's not at all. New York is alive. New York is in the middle of a pandemic just like the rest of the entire world. Do you guys see how much of a ghost town New York is? I mean, there's like no one here. This is crazy. What will we ever do without anyone in this city? It is so dead. Come on, are you serious? Look at this. People are so sad and depressed and dead. They're dancing out of sadness. I wanted to ask, New Yorkers what they thought of people calling our city a ghost town. If you go and look at what's happened to New York, it's a ghost town. It's a ghost town. And you know what's going on in New York. Everyone's leaving. It's uh, turned out to be a hellhole. Or this guy who wrote a uh, article on New York being dead. So I'm hitting the streets to ask New Yorkers what they think of those statements. Let's see how they react. But before we get into this video today, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. All right, let's go do this. And Trump called New York a ghost town? Has he been to New York? Gosh. Yeah, I don't think New York um, at any point was really a ghost town. Maybe some of the people who uh, are the ghosts and left, maybe uh, they should stay ghosts and not come back. If you think New York is sleep, I don't know, I think you may be sleep, I guess, you know? Anyone that thinks New York is dead is dumb. It's far from dead. Uh, New York City is a ghost town now, or New York City is dead, like they were saying a month ago. So first was dead, now it's a ghost town. But when you say that, it seems that the pandemic only happened in New York City and it's not the case. I find that a lot of people who say that New York City is dead or is a ghost town, are out of touch in what New York truly is in its spirit. New York is definitely not a ghost town. <laughs> I think Trump hasn't been here, so like everything else that comes out of his mouth is useless. Outdoor quality of the city actually makes it feel livelier than ever at this time, um, with New Yorkers themselves enjoying the city in a way that we don't always get to because typically there are a lot of tourists and everything is so crowded and go walk around the city businesses are starting to fill up again restaurants are getting full especially on the weekends when the weather's nice and more importantly the communities are coming together the local businesses are doing their best during a really difficult time you know in this country's history the world in general is finding different ways to do things so things are not dead things are not asleep it's just you got to move a certain way now that I think benefits everything and everyone with what's going on right now. I don't like when people say that, oh, New York City is dead because now you can do everything online. Yeah, you can do a lot of things online, but I bet that a lot of people are tired of that. I mean, who is going to prefer like to, watch, to attend a Broadway show online rather than uh, in person? There's no way. There's no way that you prefer the online version. The vibe is still alive. You go to the East Village, Lower East Side, just, you know, you got different places where people are still out, outdoors, trying to push, skateboarding. You got people meditating, you, you have artists out here, just trying to keep uh, some type of normalcy. What's kind of exciting, possibly about now in this period is that people are, they're open to all kinds of things. There's certainly a lot of creativity from all of the world coming through here. I, I think there's certain areas of New York throughout certain parts of the day that are way less packed than previously, but we are in the middle of a pandemic. But I think if you go in residential areas, it's not. People are out and about and doing things. I walk on 34th Street and it's full of people, 42nd Street are full of people. I would say New York is not a ghost town. It will never become a ghost town. But of course the city is not where it once was a couple months ago before the pandemic. 
And that's the thing, we are in a global pandemic right now where every major city has a majority of its residents flocking to the suburbs. People left for a while, but it was all in temporary. But now well, business is coming back, business is open. The locals who still live here, they're gonna tell you New York City's not dead. There's still a lot of life out here. If you go to the outer boroughs, Queens, Brooklyn, Staten Island, and the Bronx, you'll see there's tons of activity. Those people are not moving anywhere. I come to see that New York is alive, New Yorkers are resilient and they are strong and they are bold. New York is filled with all types of different but interesting people. I think New York is friendly and open. We're all out and about as we can in a really safe and uh, respectful way towards one another and I think if anything we are just stronger together. People want to go out, they want to support these places, and I'm seeing it more and more, week by week, people starting to come back to the city, supporting it. One of the things that makes New York City special for me are the people, the energy of the people. Uh, people are so resilient, and while these people are here, this city is not gonna die. I truly believe that New York City is going to be stronger than ever after all is said and done. But I do see gradually here in New York that people are coming back and I have a strong feeling that in a few more months to maybe even a year, the city will hopefully be back to where it once was. It actually feels pretty good, you know? Uh, there's a lot of things that are more positive about New York now than before COVID. I think it's gonna, we're gonna go back to hugging and kissing and going to shows and everything, so. Just hang in there, you know? And it's definitely not dead as you can uh, look, you know, look around you and see. I'm even more inspired. I feel like in tragedy, we have to find triumph. So New York is actually doing a great job and just maintaining during this dark time. And I think that New York City is gonna be stronger than ever after this. This city is unique, is special, and I think that a lot of us could like choose to leave and we decided to stay because we love this place and I hope to see New York City back in shape pretty soon. New York's not a ghost town. We're gonna survive this just like we've survived every single other tragedy that's happened in history and I can tell you that as a fact as a licensed tour guide that knows the history of New York. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.